What is up you guys? It's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News and the Billboard Music Awards went down last night and although the awards show looked a little different this year, fans can't stop buzzing about some of the night's most shocking moments. So let's break it down. If you ask anyone, the one thing capable of still bringing the people together in times like these is music. That said, nothing would be able to stop our beloved award shows from recognizing the most talented, hardworking artists as they bring fans a slight glimmer of joy in an extremely dimmed world. But like every other award show, this year's 2020 Billboard Music Awards had many fans talking about some of the most bizarre, awkward, and groundbreaking moments so let's get into it. First up, Post Malone took to the stage to perform his number one hit Circles and Tommy Lee featuring Tyler Yahweh after ranking in a total of 16 Billboard Award nominations, which happened to be the most any artist had this year. But just as the official Billboard Music Award Twitter account went on to praise his performance, fans on the other hand weren't all that impressed, after accusing him of quote, horrible lip syncing and auto-tune. One user wrote, It would have been fantastic if they did not lip sync. They both can sing to the heavens, they really should have sang. And this fan said, The set was amazing and so was the performance. But y'all did him wrong with that auto-tune. One performance however that sang with pure soul and powerful vocals was Demi Lovato's as she took to the BBMA stage to perform her new single Commander in Chief, directed towards President Trump. Interestingly enough, just as Demi finished the song, the word vote was supposed to be projected across the stage. Stage. But instead, NBC zoomed in on Demi as many accused the network of muzzling her message. Sources revealed to TMZ that this was not a mistake, saying, quote, The network pulled the plug on the vote message because the song itself was a slam on Trump and the vote message was a call to vote against him. Fans were infuriated after hearing the news as one user took to Twitter to write, Still processing the fact that all platforms censor Demi Lovato because she encourages everyone to vote. Another fan pointed out, The fact they censored the signal Demi Lovato had with the word vote at the end of her performance of Commander-in-Chief shows you already how bought they had the media. The message won't be silenced. People, you need to vote wisely. Lizzo's message about suppression and voting while accepting last night's award for top song sales, on the other hand, was heard loud and clear. During her acceptance speech, she wore a black mini dress with the word vote scattered throughout while delivering a message about refusing to be suppressed and remaining true to oneself. Let me tell y'all something. When people try to suppress something, it's normally because that thing holds power. They're afraid of your power. There's power in who you are. There's power in your voice. Did anyone else get chills from hearing Lizzo speak? Unfortunately, one celebrity we didn't get to hear speak last night was Harry Styles, who won the coveted Billboard Chart Achievement Award. Harry was unable to attend last night's show, and as it turns out, TikTok star Addison Rae was there to present the award and even swoop his new piece of hardware on his behalf. As you can imagine, at this very moment, the internet basically lost all chill as fans were confused as to why Addison, a TikTok star, was accepting an award on behalf of Harry Styles. The moment actually got both Addison and Harry to trend on Twitter, and tweets came flooding in, poking fun at the fact that Addison wasn't able to meet Harry in real life. Like one fan who shared this meme writing, Addison Rae finding out she can't teach Harry Styles the renegade and won't be able to make a TikTok with him because he didn't show up. Others poked fun and made jokes about Harry deciding not to attend the awards after he found out that Addison was going to be the one to present his award, like this person who tweeted, Harry, I was nominated for a BMA. I can't wait to go. Addison Ray, I got, I'll be there too. I'm presenting the award. Harry. Yikes. There were also many fans who were not thrilled at the thought that Addison was going to potentially meet their idol before them, like this person who said, Not Addison Ray meeting Harry Styles before any of us. What, even? While others tried to find any ammo on Addison they could, like this person who pointed out, When Addison Ray announced that Harry Styles won but she didn't open the envelope. And while there were people who started shipping Addison and Harry, even tweeting things like, Can't wait for the wedding, there were a number of Harry fans making it clear they were not here for shipping these two, like this fan who said, Who the F is shipping Harry Styles and Addison Ray? Don't do King Harry like that. Yeah, as you can see, there was a lot going down on Twitter over this topic. And finally, in what might have been one of the most heartbreaking moments, John Legend took to the Billboard Music Awards stage to perform Never Break, in honor of his wife Chrissy Teigen, who just last month, the couple's third child, Jack, passed away due to birth complications. Just saying, you might want to grab the tissues for this one. As the water rises and the mountains shake, all love will remain. 
You could just feel the emotion in John's voice and his words, and it's evident the family is in so much pain following their tragic loss. But that's the beauty of music. It is there to help us feel, uplift, and heal all the difficult and incredible emotions in times of desperate need. Last night's show was one for the books, and may you always remember that there is power in your voice. For more on Harry Styles, you can click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on last night's Billboard Music Awards and which moment you found to be the most shocking. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.